Okay, guys, uh, welcome to the second uh, question, which is uh, question 2A, I think. And uh, this question is talking about uh, simplifying uh, that expression. Now, when you look at uh, the expression, we have question 2A. It's saying m squared minus 1 over m squared minus m. So, we are saying m squared minus 1 divided by um, divided by m okay, minus m. Let's see if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So, correct m squared minus 1, m squared minus m. And um, what you need to understand is, uh, first of all, we have to recognize what is happening. When you look at on top, this is what you call a difference of what is square. Um, difference of square, okay? So, look at uh, the middle. So, that's a difference, okay? So, we can try to factor out once, um, maybe 1 to the power 2. So, this is going to be uh, m squared, okay, minus 1 squared, okay? So, this is going to be over m squared minus m minus m. So, this is going to be m, okay, minus 1, and then m plus 1. Okay. Uh, divide by now uh, you on this part down part you factorize so what is common between m squared and m it is just m then open bracket remain with m then m to m just one then you close the bracket save that so I have m minus that, I mean m plus start with the positive, and then m minus 1, close the bracket, and then m squared, I mean this one m, open bracket, m minus 1, okay, so um, this and this cancels, okay, and then you just remain with 1 m plus this over m okay then um, this is the answer okay so you needed to simplify that one okay save that okay and then you go to question 2b which is about uh, geometric series okay so they are saying the first three terms of the geometric progression uh, 6 plus n, 10 plus n, 15 plus n. So 6, 10, 15. Okay, they are saying find the value of n. Okay, so question 2b. Okay, so this is going, they are saying 6 plus n plus 10 plus n, and then uh, 15 plus n. So find now the find the n okay. So we have uh, three terms as you can see. Um, we have three terms. What you can do is um, the first term is this one. The first, the second term is this one. The third term is this one. So what you are going to do is uh, it's more like we are finding r. Okay, we are going to say the first second term divide by first term so 10 plus n divide by uh, 6 plus n okay and then uh, we can keep on going so we are kind of making a pattern right here so what this is gonna happen is that um, um, 10 plus n over uh, 6 plus n equals to 
Edge term is uh, Nothing 